Hi everyone, welcome to US Water Heating Solutions video series. Today we will be talking about getting preventive maintenance for your tankless water heater. Before we begin, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of our future videos. Here we got a tankless water heater. As you can see, the wall mounted unit is much smaller than a traditional water heater that uses a water storage tank to hold the hot water. It also offers increased efficiency and on-demand hot water without having to worry about using up all the water in the tank. A tankless unit lasts longer than a traditional water heater. When properly maintained, tankless water heaters last 20 plus years with a 15 year warranty on the heat exchanger compared to the 10, 12 year life expectancy of traditional water heaters today. Keep your water heater properly maintained. You'll want to schedule a preventive maintenance appointment once a year. Some ma manufacturers will actually require proof of maintenance in order to take advantage of the heat exchanger warranty. During preventive maintenance appointment, our uh, tech will examine and clean the main components of the water heater and flush the unit with cleaning solution to remove sediment, lime scale, buildup, etc. Let's learn a little bit more about uh, tankless preventive maintenance appointments. It's recommended to schedule a PM preventive maintenance appointment for your tankless water heater once a year to keep it running in optimal condition for as long as possible. If your water is harder than the average city water, you may even need to descale the unit more often. Getting regular preventative maintenance, your tankless water heater can reduce unplanned downtime, increase energy efficiency, decrease repair costs, improve building and equipment safety, increase your water heater life expectancy, and ensure your water heater warranty remains valid. A tankless gas water heater uses a heat exchanger made from copper or stainless steel to instantly heat the water that flows through it. During a PM appointment, uh, tech will examine the heat exchanger and the most important internal components of the water heater, such as the flame rod and igniters, inlet, water filters, and uh, gaskets, etc. If the components show signs of wear or failure and cannot be cleaned, the tech will replace them. If scale builds up on the inside of the heat exchanger and is not flush or descaled, uh, eventually the heat exchanger will leak and or throw an error code, faults, etc. because the heat cannot efficiently transfer through the scale buildup. Flushing a water heater involves running a cleaning solution through the inside of the unit to remove sediment buildup and other debris. Sediment buildup will accumulate inside your tankless water heater to the point that it damages the components inside of your unit and obstructs its operations. Flushing your water heater will remove a majority of the sediment buildup and keep your water heater running at its highest capabilities. In order to stay under warranty, most warranties require documented proof of professional preventive maintenance. All right, to flush a tankless water heater, I will be using the following items. I got a couple hoses here to connect to the hot and cold. A submersible water circulation pump, five gallon bucket, and solution. Now that we have everything we need, let's walk through the tankless washing. Step one, turn off fuel source to water heater and turning the gas to the off position. Step two, attach hoses to the isolation valves your tankless water heater has isolation valves where the water enters and leaves the unit. The isolation valves will be used to shut water off entering the unit, drain the unit, and isolate the unit from the rest of your plumbing system. On this unit, the isolation valves are right here and here. Before continuing, I am tightening the hoses to prevent leaking. Step three, I am placing the pump into the bucket. Now I'm going to attach the hose attached to the inlet connections to the discharge side of the circulation pump. Then I'm going to leave the hose connected to the outlet loose inside the bucket. Step four, fill the bucket with your preferred cleaning solution, which will be indicated by your water heater's maintenance manual. It is extremely common to flush with water and white distilled vinegar. Step five, turn on the water pump. At this time, I will run the water pump and keep it running for roughly 45 minutes. Keep in mind that the pump should never run unless completely submerged in water. Step six, reconnect water heater. After 45 minutes, I will drain the solution and reconnect the water heater and verify that everything works properly. That's it, the tankless flush is complete. 
The whole job should take, give or take, about one hour. You should get tankless preventative maintenance one to two times a year. During your PM appointment, the tech will inspect the internal components of your water heater, flush the unit, and tighten all the connections. Contact experts at US Water Heating Solutions at 833-879-4776 to schedule your appointment today. This has been another installment of US Water Heating Solutions video series. Thanks for tuning in. So Lola, what do you think? <laughs>